Hello, welcome to volleyball101.com. My name is David Fisher. I'm a coach of an indoor women's college team. I've played professionally for 12 years. I've been coaching the whole time, men's and women's, all different levels. I'm gonna talk about how I run Pepper. Everybody uses Pepper. Two people, back and forth, pass, set, hit. But they use it wrong. They use it as a warm-up activity, and they do it lazily. To me, how you pepper is how you're gonna play. If you wanna play with intensity, you gotta pepper with intensity. When you've set your partner and you're waiting for the ball, it's not a casual, okay, let's see what happens. When you're waiting, you wanna be defensive, ready for anything, because that's what you get. We're gonna have these two players demonstrate peppering with intensity, and if the ball gets away from them, we're gonna stop it and show another key point I have about Pepper. All right, go ahead. I go. Here, here. Okay. We're gonna keep the ball in play wherever it goes. There's no out of bounds. After every touch, they get back to a neutral position where they can pass, set, or catch a ball. Now, Shanna, hold on for a second. What most people do, and it irks me, They've shanked the ball far away. Ashley's running to go get it, and Shanna waits. To me, that doesn't help out Shanna, and it doesn't help out the two of them. Here's what I want to see players do if the ball gets away from them. The ball goes to the other side of the gym. Both players, go. They can pepper there. They don't need a net. They don't need to be rewarded for putting the ball off somewhere funky. Obviously, if you're in your pre-match warm-ups and you're on half the net and the other team's on half the net, you can't do that. But when you have the gym and it's your team and your practice, take Pepper seriously. Pepper is a drill and how you Pepper will be a strong indication for how you're going to play. Thanks for watching and to check out more videos, go to volleyball1on1.com.